Good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Andrea. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Hey, Heartbeat Rhonda and Heartbeat Christine. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. Hey, Heartbeat Anita. Good morning. Hope you guys had a restful night, sweet sleep and all of that good stuff and woke up feeling real good, real happy on this morning. I want to say, uh, Good morning to Heartbeat Robin and Heartbeat Cecilia. They watch on YouTube, so I don't ever want them to feel left out. So, hey, Heartbeat Robin. Hey, Heartbeat Cecilia. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Hey, Heartbeat Sherry. Hey, Heartbeat Tanya. Hey, Heartbeat Anita. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. Who is that? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Juanita, good morning to you. Heartbeat Elaine and Heartbeat Donald, good morning, good morning, good morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts by God Wants Me Whole. Hey, Heartbeat Sean, and your daily dosage for today, we're going to pick up from yesterday. Listen up. God is speaking part two. Amen. Listen up because God is speaking part two. Hey, Heartbeat Annette, Heartbeat Belinda, Heartbeat Smitty. Great morning, wonderful wisdom Wednesdays. Yeah, I like that, Heartbeat Rhonda. Hey, Heartbeat Rachel. I like that. And so, you know, we, we were talking yesterday about God is speaking and how we need to listen up to what he's saying so that we can follow his instructions. And so we know that where we are in the world today, it's obvious that God is coming back. And so we've got to get things in order. We've got to get things in line. We've got to be the people who God called us to be, regardless of what that means. You know, sometimes we're going to have to sacrifice some things. You know, we're going to have to make changes if we want to see what God's sees um, or what God saw when he created us. Amen. And so again, the daily dosage for today, hey, Heartbeat Ruby, listen up. God is speaking part two. And so today I'm going to be reading Luke 46 and 47 from the Passion Translation because we are quick to, you know, call God Lord, but we don't always do what he tells us to do. And so it says this, what good does it do for you to say, I am your Lord and master? if you don't put into practice what I teach you. And remember, we talked about, um, you know, being a, just a hearer of the word and not a doer of the word, that you've got to do both in order to see God's promises. You have to do both in order to walk into your purpose, to see the destiny that God has already arranged for you. So it, it goes like this. What good does it do for you to say, I am your Lord and master, if you don't put into practice what I teach you? Let me describe the one who truly follows me and does what I say. He is like a man who chooses the right place to build a house and then lays a deep and secure foundation. When the storms and floods rage against that house, it continues to stand strong and unshaken through the tempest for he built it wisely on the right foundation. And so when we listen to God, he says, one that follows me, one that does what I say, one that calls me Lord and honors me as Lord, says they build their life on a great foundation so that when storms come, they are unshaken. What does that mean? It's like you're a palm tree. You know, when you see palm trees, they may sway to the left, they may sway to the right, but they're never uprooted. You've never really heard of a palm um, tree literally coming up from the root. It can take whatever. It can take the storm. It can take the wind. It can take the hail. It can definitely take the sunshine, but it's never unshaken. It's never unrooted because it has a foundation. But then it goes on to say this, but the one who has heard my teaching and does not obey it is like a man who builds a house without laying any foundation at all. When the storms and floods race against that house, it will immediately collapse and become a total loss. And then it ends like this. Which of these two builders will you be? Which of these two builders will you be? And so will you be the one that hears the word and that's all you do? 
And so you don't have a foundation. Will you be that person we talked about on, I believe it was Friday about the reflection. You look in the mirror, you see things are out of place and you just walk away as if you've seen nothing. Or will you be that one that builds your life on God's word, on his foundation so that when something happens, you've got a word for that. You know, we use our cell phones for everything now because they've got an app for everything that you need. Well, God has a word for everything that you need. So which one will you be? Will you build your house on a foundation that's able to stand or will you build your house on a foundation that's going to wash away? And so he asked the question, why do you worship me? And then you don't listen. Don't you understand that my words can change your life? Don't you understand that my instructions will bring out the best in you? Don't you understand that my words will change your world? That suddenly you can have what you say. Suddenly you can be healed. Suddenly things will turn around for you? Don't you understand that my words cause miracle signs and wonders to happen? Which one will you be? Which builder will you be? Will you build on my foundation or will you continue to live life the way that you've been living? And see, we've got to understand, you know, to understand this, that when God tells us something, he means it. So if he tells you to leave something alone, then you've got to leave it alone. If he tells you to stop eating certain things, then you've got to stop eating certain things. If he tells you he requires requires more of your time, then he means exactly what he says. He's requiring more of your time. If he's telling you, oh no, you got to get your love walk together. See, that's not the time for you to tell God, well, they did this and they did that because he's not talking to you about they and them. He's talking to you about you. He's trying to pull out the best in you. He's trying to make sure that you look like his image. He's trying to make sure that you live the best life ever. And so here again, why do you call me Lord, but you won't do what I tell you to do. See, you've got to understand this. You get an opportunity right now to make a change in your life. God is giving us presentations. He's giving us word. He's giving us examples. He's giving out testimonies to people. And it's also that will, it will cause you to hear the word of God, that it will prick your heart and that it will instantaneously cause you to change. And so this is what you've got to understand. As you look back over your life, your life Life looks like the choices that you've made. So now that you've looked back over your life and your life looks like the choices that you've made, what will you do now? Here is a fresh opportunity for you to make a change. You know, God created us whole, meaning for us to be whole, meaning nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken. But there are some of us that are still in that place. Why? Because we aren't heeding to the word of God. And so we've got to know that, you know, if you read up above the scriptures that I started at, it tells you that every tree is known by its fruit. What does your fruit say about you? Does your fruit say that you're walking in the ways of God? Does your fruit say that you're walking in God's wisdom? Or does your fruit say you doing this thing on your own? That you're following me, myself, and I? Does your fruit say that you're prosperous? Does your fruit say that you got it going on? Or does your fruit say I'm going around in circles? I'm like a rat on that little uh, wheel that just keeps going in circles and never getting anywhere. What is your fruit saying about you? It's so you've got to stop praying for healing, but you keep contaminating your body with all types of salt, with all types of sugars, with all types of legal and illegal substances. You've got to know this, that when you gave your life to God, that your body is no longer your own, that it was paid for with a price. So stop praying to God talking about, I want healing, but you keep eating what you want. You won't exercise. You keep putting the wrong things in your body. See, God wants you to feed your body, feed your spirit with his word. Why? Because the word is like a medication. It heals as it's being taken in. And if you continue to medicate on the word of God, it's going to change your whole thinking. You're going to start loving yourself even more. And when you love yourself, you treat yourself better. Then you'll be more conscientious of what you're putting into your mouth. And so you've got to begin to love yourself the way God loves, loves you. You've got to begin to love God. When you love 
of God, you want to please God. You want to do things right. Stop praying for financial breakthrough and you don't tithe. Let me just say it how I feel it. It ain't going to happen. If you are tithing, there is no financial breakthrough for you. So you can stop saying those confessions. You can stop saying those affirmations. If you are putting into practice what God has put down here, it ain't going to happen. You going to be broke. You going to be disgusted and you going to be busted. Let the church say amen. Stop praying to God and asking him to mend your broken heart when you keep going back to the very thing that broke your that broke your heart, that caused you to have a broken heart. He says this, if I am your Lord, why aren't you listening to me? If you call me Lord, why aren't you doing what I'm telling you to do? And so heartbeat nation, you've got to know that God loves you so much that he sent a word this morning that says, I am speaking. I am calling after my own. I need you to line up. I need you to get your life in order. I need you to do what I called you to do. See, my word is not going to return unto me, void. See, either you're going to come on your own will or you come and kicking and screaming. You're going to go through some stuff that you don't have to go to, go through. Is it going to give you a testimony at the end? Yeah, but why go through the school of hard knocks when you don't have to, when God is so loving, when God keeps giving opportunities to change? He says, I am speaking. Listen up. Glory to God. Glory to God. Know that God loves you. Know that this is not a word that's coming to beat you up, but it's coming to change your life. God loves you so much that he said, heartbeat Anita, heartbeat Juanita, heartbeat Andrea, heartbeat Christine. Listen up. Make the changes that need to be made in your life. Listen up. Listen up, heartbeat Queen O. Listen up, heartbeat Yvonne. Listen up, heartbeat Rhonda. Listen up, heartbeat Sherry. Listen up, heartbeat be Rachel. He's calling all of our names. Listen up, heartbeat Regina. He's calling our names. Listen up, heartbeat Carolyn. I've got some great things in store for you. So if you call me Lord, then do what I say. That is your daily dosage for today. And that was a dosage. Let me tell you. Listen, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not already. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website godwantsmewhole.org. You know how we end it. One, two, three. Come on, say God wants me whole and I am getting whole by the minute. I love you guys a bunch. Have a fantastic day. Look out for miracle signs and wonders. Remember, this is the week of miracles. Something spec while amazing is going to happen to you. Be it you see it and in a give, be it you hear a word from God that you've been waiting to hear from. I'm telling you, this is is the week of miracles. God is doing the amazing. You're going to see supernatural turnarounds and miraculous breakthroughs in your life if you just listen up. God is calling his people. God is coming back. God is wants to, he, to us to be in the right position. God will judge the house of God first, his people. Don't be standing in the line of judgment when you uh, are getting something bad, when you know that God has been talking to you. This is not the time to act like you can't hear his voice. This is not the time to act like you don't know him. This is the time to listen up because God is speaking. Again, have a spec while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings. Look out for God's favor. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. Again, I love you guys a bunch. Talk to you on tomorrow morning.